Hey, what's happening guys? Best NHL Clips here. And my voice is still a bit raspy because I did lose it with a cold. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys and I wanted to start our very first Be a GM mode. And the reason why I'm restarting this is because we were only one episode into the last one and we ended up having to cancel it due to video issues but don't worry everything will be fine with this one and there was a lot of controversy on the team that I chose so we won't be using them and you'll have to wait and see to see who this team that I'm gonna choose is it's about to come up in a couple of minutes but let's start off with the rules first off yes we'll be having it on superstar because it doesn't really matter we're just simulating 20 minute periods 25 length yeah Season starting date, regular season, computer trades on, trade difficulty, we'll put that to hard, waivers off, I don't want to lose my players if I send them down, starting rosters current, salary cap on, authentic cap penalties, we'll turn that off, give everybody a fresh start, draft ownership, classic, so everybody gets a pick, and then fantasy draft on. Just like last time, I'm keeping the same idea, just new team, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the fantasy draft. I'm going to randomly generate a number, and I'm going to click that number to randomize our pick in the draft for our, however many times it pops up. And then uh, what we're going to do from there is sim through the draft as fast as we can so we don't see who gets drafted, and then it will be a total surprise who's on our team and who's on any team. So GM firing off. Auto sign free agents off into the rules. Everything should be good here. I'm going to turn injuries off once we get into the game, and I'll turn it on for playoffs. Uh, all this is good other than I don't want the assistant coach edit lines. And, yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> so, general manager, our name doesn't matter. But don't worry because this name of ours will become known as one of the top general managers ever. So general manager will be the best general manager. But the team I've decided to use are the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's right. Time to bring the underdogs a cup. They just got into the league in the year 2000 and They've made one playoff appearance back in 2009 where they got swept by the Detroit Red Wings. So not only are we going to win them their first playoff game, but we're going to win them the first playoff cup. So GM skill level hard. Let's get into this. Come on, boys. This will be a great dynasty of a team we're going to set up here. And now I'm going to go to the random number generator, and I'm going to put it between 10 and 30 so we get a good range of generations and generate our numbers 20 so we're gonna click the randomize button 20 times I'll count it out as I do it so you guys know I'm being serious and I'm not just trying to set this up so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 24th pick so this might start off as a rebuilder, but looks like New York Islanders and Florida Panthers might just end up being Stanley Cup champs. So I'm going to click A and we're going to simulate through this as fast as we can so we don't see anybody pop up or get drafted. So of course, Sidney Crosby went first overall, but as far as everything else goes, who knows who we're going to get. Let's hope it's someone special. So, Seth Griffith, that was our 32nd round pick. He's actually a good prospect, but here's the moment of truth. Claude Giroux. How did Claude Giroux go 24th overall? Goodness. And Patrick Kane. Wow. Looks like we might not be that rebuilding team to start off. Who'd we get for goalies? Anti Niami. Wow, this is beautiful. We got some prospect goalies, too. Don't really have a backup, so we might have to run with Niami. But we do got some goalies who are having some good potential. And wow, this is a sweet team, boys. This is sweet. So let's see. For centers, we got Drew, Ryan Kessler, Kennedy, and 
let's check out this guy's stats. Ah, you might even get a boost. Uh, face-offs. Not too good at face-offs. So, we might have to grab ourselves a centerman. But, <clears throat> that's sweet. Uh, left wingers. So, we have three left wingers. Um, we might be a bit of a rebuilding team at first, but my god, did we ever pick up some great players. And there's our right wingers. Zach Cassian as well. Wow. This is, this is beautiful. Alrighty. Defense, is this where we're struggling? Uh... Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But, look at this potential. We are going to be one stud of a team, that is for sure. So, wow. Alright, nothing but good things to come with this team. I'm loving it, boys, I'm loving it. Uh, computers will automatically fix salary, yep, that's okay with me. Well, let's get right into this. I think what we're going to do is, I'm going to choose... Uh, Choose some free agents to sign, and we'll get all our lines, our captains set up, and the scout out. And then uh, that'll be it for this episode, and we'll start our uh, simulating in the next episode, and we'll sim all the way up to the trade deadline. And you guys can let me know who I should trade for, and also who I should, uh, whether I should go for the cup run still, or uh, just be a rebuilding team and hopefully get that sick pick. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to our roster moves or actually no 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 let's go to free agency first and see who's a free agent all right so remember we didn't have defense and we didn't have left wings so we have six million dollar worth of cap uh actually let's set up our lines and then uh, we'll see because I want to see the potential of some of the players and maybe we might just play the potential and hopefully raise their stats and uh, maybe not have to sign that one year player so uh, let's go down to roster moves here so as far as forwards go we have <clears throat> one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. So we can send one forward down and defense 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 defense. So let's take a look at potential here. I think we're going to send down Gudas. There's that. Goalies. Who do we got? Yep, yeah, that's okay with me. And forwards. Let's head over to potential. Or er, overall, I mean. Kucherov. When did he get drafted, eh? Second round, 58. But that red star potential. That won't go back up until he's about 26. So, we'll keep Forsberg up here. And... Yeah, that'll be that. Let them play in the minors and uh, really rank up a bit. I honestly thought Seth Griffith was a lot stronger. Huh, sorry about that. I thought we got a good prospect with him. Um, Alright, let's jump into the, the lines. So, coaching options, jersey numbers. We got to do it. We got to have Drew, Kessler, and until a defenseman proves himself, I'm not going to have a defenseman. I'm going to have Patty Kane. We'll be our two assistants. So we'll see if anybody decides to take over any of those positions in time to come. But for right now, that's what we're going to start off with. So a playmaker, sniper, and power forward. That's a sick first line. And we got our two-way forward, our sniper, and our power forward. Good. Uh, let's see if... It, any of we don't really have a face-off taker for this third line I mean Kennedy's 65 fa or 70 face off oh, okay well yeah I guess and uh, all right let me know 
if I should move anybody up, move anybody down. I know we do got a lot of uh, potential here. I mean, he, we got a lot of players who could be playing a lot higher up. So, I mean, we could do something like that. But this guy, he's also three and a half green stars. But he's a left winger, too. So, what's Brian Bickle? Oh, okay, that's more like it. There, we're going to have a weak third line, I'm assuming. And, yeah. Left wing, left wing. <clears throat> Alright. So, what I'm thinking is Chris Stewart. This is his year he's going to jump, if he does jump anymore. This year and next year, so I do want him on that first line getting as much as possible. Patty Kane and Kessler we got up here too. And look at that face off and defensive rating. By far a PK right there. And of course we got Giroux up here who's gonna only get better, so there we go. Luke Shen, yep, we want him. Now here's to decide. Do we want Tanev or Fowler up there? Tanev, three and a half green and eighty overall. Fowler, four and a half gold stars. Yeah, we definitely want Cam Fowler. All right. Shane O'Brien, he might get moved down to the fourth line, one sec or third line, one second. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Gonna move Blum up and yeah, perfect. So now on to that power play. We know Patty Kane and Giroux are definitely gonna be there. Um, but, <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want, no, nah, look at that shot, he needs to be out there, he definitely needs to be out there, I was gonna put Kessler up there, but no, alright, uh, see, I just wanna check out shooting on these players here, yeah, so, I don't think I want Blum playing the power play. Uh, ooh, Luke Shen can't shoot either. Okay, we don't really got a big shot on our team for the power play, I don't think, out of the defenseman. But, they're going by offensive awareness. So, I'll leave that how it is for now. You guys can let me know. That's looking good other than Blum and PK Kessler Giroux I don't know if I want Kane playing the penalty kill though His defensive awareness is alright but I mean he's a power play kind of guy so let me go over to defensive awareness check out who we got Kessler Giroux oh, okay so Kane's up there Reed Kane Reed and Stewart so Let's put in Reed. He's a right winger. I guess we'll have him take him some face offs. Can't hurt. Well, actually, it can. Let's check out the, the face off rating, I guess. Face offs, Kessler 90. Kennedy, Kennedy at 70. So we don't really have anybody better to take the face offs. So I think I'll put them there. Kessler, Giroux, Shen, O'Brien. Yep. Four on four lines, I'll leave for now. And the extra attacker is good. And that's good there. So, you know what? Other than maybe trading away a couple of prospects, I think we're all right here. Uh, what I do want to look for, though, uh, let's send out our scout. And the this will be the last thing for this video. Scouting assignment. We really need kind of that, the standout kind of forward for the second line and third line. Like, we really need some forwards here. So, if, and especially if we can get a specialist kind of player for, uh, for our forwards and, uh, that somebody we can play on the PK or, like an enforcer that would be perfect but 
I'm going to have to go with who has the most first overall picks. That's looking like the OHL. So we'll send out our scout there. And uh, yeah, as far as everything else goes, I think we're just going to make some trades. We don't need to sign anybody in free agency, or not that I saw at least. Um, double check we didn't miss anybody with potential who could be bumping up there. Uh, nope. And goalies. Nope. So, yep. I think we're all good and set there. Let me know if you guys think I should draft anybody from the free agents. And, uh, I will if you guys want me to. But, yeah, let me know what you think of the team. Let me know who I should try and get, who I should draft, who I should try and get from free agents or make a trade or set up my lines any different and let me know and we'll begin our simulation in the second video. So thanks again and have a great day you sexy studs.